mini catalogue day. So I uh, hope you guys are keeping well and as promised uh, I'm going to come on and do a walkthrough of the mini catalogue January to June. So this is a half year catalogue and it's got some lush things in it, some really beautiful things. I have, I, I have to say I was very pleased with it this year. And tell me what your favourites are as well. Tell me what you'd like to see me stamp with. Um, just a little note on if you're placing orders on the, through the Stampin' Up website, obviously. Um, just remember to add your celebration items. Apparently, the website's not reminding people. So make sure you add those items. So the way to do it is that you go to the item that you want and once you've, you've put £45 worth of product in your basket, that little pink box will appear that you can add your add the freebies. So remember, if you order over £150 of product, you get your freebies directly from Celebration, uh, sorry, from Stampin' Up! rather. But if you spend less than £150, do use my host code. And uh, my host code for the month is available on my blog on my facebook page and if you can't get hold of it just email me ruthtrice at gmail.com and i'll be pleased to send you january's host code so shall we get to it it does no it does remind you with a pink oh does it ah maybe they fixed it then this morning apparently they weren't reminding so that's good that's good to hear so has already placed her an order she got it in there. Well done, Martina. I'm not quite sure how long it's taking for English, uh, UK parcels to get through because we are having lots of delays at the moment, but it is worth getting your order in because the sooner you get your order in, the sooner they'll process it and, and get it on its way, albeit delayed. So um, that's just the nature of the way things are currently. And... Uh, it's we just kind of practice patience everybody right so let's do the catalog walkthrough now hopefully a lot of you have seen the new catalog but it's always nice for me to go through it and just talk about the highlights for me and maybe things that you've ignored or maybe you've missed you've not noticed so i love the brightness of it all this year it's it's just such a happy catalog so one of the uh, new things also available to order is the little mini version of the cut and emboss. So that's really exciting. And some really gorgeous new kits. Now I love the look of this kit. I have, I've actually bought it. I've not played with it yet. But for those of you who are new to card making and you're not quite sure where to start, I think this is a beautiful kit to start off with. We've got a stamp set and various other pieces and basically everything in here that you'll need to start creating cards so I do like that one and then we've got a, a second kit now this is just product only sort of you know um, card and bits and pieces and if you want the stamp set you need to order that separately but I think this is quite nice if you've already owned a few stamps and you don't necessarily need this new stamp set you can use the kit on its own. So useful if you're going on holiday usually these things come in really nice boxes that are kind of you know and you could fit a few more bits in there if you're going on holiday or going away for the weekend or you're going to have a holiday in your front room, as many of us in the UK are doing at the moment. You know, just moving from room to room and uh, that's our holiday. So, <laughs> yes, it's re the real life of living in January 2021 is hitting us. Right. So then there's this lovely suite here, Flowering Cactus. Now, I don't have this one, but I do believe the lovely Janice Thompson of Jazzle Dazzle Crafts. She did a lovely demonstration of this the other day. So if you don't follow her, please do and have a look and see what she she's made with this one. Um, I do like I do like the floral elements on there, though. Very nice. Um, now, this is a product medley, actually. So you get papers, some little felt items, some thread and some dyes to match. So it's a whole product kind of together thing. So yes, it's a bit of a higher price item, but you get a lot in there. So. Hi, everybody that's coming on. I'll say a quick hello. Hey, Chick. <laughs> hello, Wendy and Wendy. You're together on, on the chat. <laughs> Lovely to see you. Hi, uh, Martina, Janine, Diane, Kathy, Carol, Wendy, Wendy, Carol, 
Uh, Janine, hello. Hello, Audrey. Hey, chick. <laughs> I've got a girlfriend of mine who always says, hey, chick. It's lovely. I love it. Now, this is a gorgeous set. I love the florals in this one. Really lovely. Great for Valentine's. Got some really beautiful sort of Valentine's elements to it. Uh, I've already sort of shown you the paper, I think. Yes, I got it in my pre-order. So this paper, I think, is very versatile for those of you who like colouring in. And then there's some really lovely foiled paper as well. Now, this is a little hidden thing. I, th I don't know. Esther, did you get some of these? I'm going to order these in my next order. The little black matte dots because it's like nothing else we have right now then these little match boxes these intrigue me i like a little box to put things in and i like a little match box too <laughs> so those are super cute so how many do you get of those 10 and they're food safe so you could put sweets and things in those yeah really cute um what's martina saying about Oh, yes. Oh, yes, you could do a cat and a cactus. <laughs> that would be funny. Yeah. Oh, you noticed them after you did your order. Oh, what a shame. Never mind, Audrey. Next order. <laughs> yeah, and then, again, if you like, want something a bit more romantic, not just for Valentine's, but, you know, we've got an, a lovely anniversary sentiment there. Happy anniversary. I'm always on the lookout for a nice anniversary one. Really gorgeous die cut that if you know anything about what I like doing here we go we can see it better there you know that can be just torn up and used to pop behind things you don't necessarily have to use it whole and then there's dies to cut out the, the stamped flowers and things now I was tempted by the stamp set I haven't got it yet <laughs> uh, because I love these flowers really lovely but that's why I bought the paper for now to keep me kind of going so, come out a little bit. Hi, Miss Sheila. Then we've got a lipstick one, which is this is so 80s. I think this is really 80s, but you know what? It's okay to have a bit of nostalgia um, with the the kiss and um, yeah, and and a punch to match as well. So we have a a kit, lips punch and. A heart all in one I don't know if you can see that very well but um, that's what it cuts out so it kit cuts out the lips and the heart now if you ever wonder what size the stamps are generally unless it says on the pictures that it's not a hundred percent all the imagery imagery of the stamp sets are exactly as they are when you risk when you get them to stamp out so that is it's always worth looking at the gray images for the precise sizing because when you look at sometimes when you look at the samples it's hard to kind of tell because you don't know what size card it is but when you look at the gray image that is the exact size that it is so that was a punch and stamp bundle. Sorry, I forgot to say that. And whenever you purchase the stamp and the punch, you get 10% off. Just saying. So make sure you put the bundle code in, not the separate. Don't put two separate elements. You won't get the separate. You won't get the 10% off. Oops, sorry. Okay, so then here we have another heart one. And I love that gingham. Oh, and the dots. I love that. Oh, and the row of the hearts. Ooh, I quite like this. I've not noticed this one before. <laughs> I think because it was her heart, I went, mm. but I actually, it's really quite cute. So, and it doesn't have to be, again, for embellishments. I have to pace myself. I fell asleep here in the US, so I was about to jump on, but Ruth popped on. Ah. Uh, Okay, so here we've got Valentine keepsakes. Now this is designed to go with the little curvy keepsake die that is in the annual catalogue. And it's just a way of decorating the sides of that little box. Then they've got sweet little Valentine's cards and more. So it's got envelopes, cards, it's all pre-printed. So if you're one of those card makers that sometimes needs to do batch card making, but you don't want to have to think about it too much, this is a, a really good little kit. Oh, the kangaroo. <gasps> I hope my Aussie friends are happy with this. It's very, very cute. And 
I think very nicely drawn as well. I have to say that I like the artwork with this because it almost looks like it's been drawn with a th uh, like a brush pen. OK, now I know this is a very minor detail, but actually for me, it makes all the difference because you can see here there's sort of thinner strokes and thicker strokes to the drawing. And it adds just an element of, of sophistication, I think, uh, to this graphic design work, which, you know, Stampin' Up! is, is known for their good graphics and things. So let's move on. Now that has dyes, by the way, as well. Oh, Hydrangea Hill. Now, I know I've got a lot of purple fans on this website, on, on my channel. So you guys, I think, are going to be having kittens over this. So we've got a beautiful stamp set and dies, then some foil paper and the pearls. Oh, be still my heart, the pearls. They are beautiful. Now, the papers, very pretty. For me, they're slightly vintage looking. So if you love that kind of vintagey. Uh, chintzy I would almost say kind of uh, sort of again I've, I've got I feel that there's a bit of an 80s feel to these but that could just be me I just remember these type of papers being around or actually into the 90s as well but um it yeah it's like a bit of a throwback kind of look but then you know something that's watercolor is going to always give that kind of feel very very pretty and then we have this beautiful watercolor style stamp set so you know achieve your watercolor look without having to do all that faffing and then i just wanted to point out that the dies now i know it's really hard to see on here but the die that cuts this out it actually cuts out tiny weeny little individual flowers all right so Back on this page here, you can see all these tiny flowers, and that's because it will cut it, cut out those little flowers. Um, now, they are. Hold on, let me just check. They are attached at the centre, but it's pretty easy to just nip those out to have your little flowers ready then to stick on your cards. So, if anyone's got this one, let me know, and um, I, I'm looking forward to seeing samples with this I don't have this set yet <laughs> you need oh you're from Lower Stoff in Suffolk hi Carol well I'm in the UK and there are a few sort of down south um a few more that way yeah are you are you on my artful stamping space um Facebook group please join join in the fun over there you might get to know a few people, but we're mainly from all over the world here. OK, moving on. So we've got wrapped flowers, which is this very nicely designed look flower themed set with also this great sort of what's the word I want texture. It's supposed to look like newspaper, but I can see that being used for lots of different things. And then a die set to match that too that will cut out some really beautiful leaves and and the flowers from there so again looking forward to see what people make of that one. Oh, well done carol yeah i have a facebook group i don't know if you use facebook but if there's a link to the facebook group in the description box below so it's springtime joy this is the easter offerings and then we also have a more religious easter set which i'm always happy to see and got some great little sentiments here Hope is a bit of a recurring theme. I've seen that word quite a bit throughout our annual catalogue and this one. And then I do love this little rabbit. And I think that would be cute for just a you know new baby type card as well. And even that little chick as well. Uh, but this is this is great. He lives and he's not here for he is risen. And that little church would be great for a little wedding card, I think. So... It just makes you raise the peckles. Okay, thank you, Sheila. But I guess if you just got in there with a pair of scissors, you could snip them. So this is the spring themed one for the curvy dies and the curvy bundle. So some of you will have seen that you could have ordered the Christmassy one, but that's now not available. But we do have the dies carrying on till now and um, the appropriate small springtime and... Um, so this one has carried over with the birds and actually they're very nice birds. I like those. 
and then some foliage and some really nice sentiments there. Then the Dandy Garden, you've seen a bit of a pre sneak peek of this one. This has got a lovely two sort of dandelion stroke dragonfly themed sets. And it also has these gorgeous little ladybug little uh, embellishments. I won't dwell on this one so much because you've probably seen quite a bit of this already. Just to point out that the laser cut paper is, has proved very popular already and is great to use as a little bit of a stencil. Uh, when when doing your stamping. They are actually cut with a different dye, the randish. Oh, okay, got you. Oh, it's this dye here, got, got you. Okay, so there is a dye that cuts out lots of little flowers. It's this one in a row. Okay, we keep coming back to this one because it's just so gorgeous. All right, let's move on. You've seen the dragonfly pudge, you've seen me use it. You've seen the dragonfly set, you've seen me use it. And then for those of you who are dandelion fans, this is very pretty. I think this is lovely. And then again, some lovely sentiments there. Then this is a great sentiment, new sentiment set. You've seen me use that. This is a lovely rose set with a very interesting die that cuts out a whole kind of section of stripes. So I'm interested to use that. I have got this one, but I haven't played with it yet. Now you have seen me play with this one, borders to backgrounds. I think this is such a good value for money set. It's only £15 and you get uh, these four different backgrounds. Now this is the actual size. So this is a good point for me to kind of draw your attention to how things are laid out in the catalogue. We've got actual size here and then artwork shown at 60%. Okay, so this is the actual size and then these are just showing you what they look like. Then we've got again a lovely, we had this last year with a really gorgeous big floral background and they've done it again this year that if you want, again, want to stamp very quickly, you can get a lot done with that massive stamp. <laughs> You've already seen me use this one, so I won't dwell on this one too much, but to say that if you're a beginner stamper, this is a fabulous stamp set for you because there's so much packed into this. It's called Pretty Perennials. Pretty inexpensive, £17, and you get all those leaves and flowers and sentiments there. There is a die set to go with it that will cut out some of the flowers, but it also has some really ad pretty additional leaves as well. Fine Art Floral. Again, you've seen me play with this. The gold gilding flakes are, have got a notoriety all of their own. <laughs> they seem to just get everywhere. Some really lovely gold acetate, printed acetate for that as well. Some lovely ribbon, some lovely papers. So if you don't have the time to always stamp out your own papers, there are some beautifully designed ones. And let's see if there's some samples. Yep, and here we go. Here's the big stamp set here. And then some lovely samples of the two-step stamping, but using the gilding flake. So this stamp is designed to stamp over this one. But what you can do is use the gilding flakes on that with the new heat and stick or newly returned heat and stick powder. So let me just draw your attention to that. You can also use it for adhering glitter. So here, number six heat and stick powder. So you would use that by using your Versamark ink, then you would pour the heat and stick powder on the Versamark ink, tap it off, heat it up, and then it makes it go sticky and then you're able to adhere your gilding flakes. And there's other ways of adhering gilding flakes, but that's, that's just one of them. So this I don't have, but a lot of people have commented to say how useful they think this is. It's called the Many Messages stamp set and then Messages die. So this die will cut out all those messages in one go. And I think Sheila was happy to get this one because she uses makes a lot of cards and it's just useful to have loads in one go to do. So, hello, Helen. Nice to see you. Now this one is on my wish list. I don't think I ordered it in my pre-order. No, I don't. I, no, I definitely didn't. But this is one of my on my wish list. You can see all my little tabs here. You see. So what I need to do is now I've bought certain ones, so I need to remove these tabs. This is a pretty one if you're really into sort of mandala style artwork and or graphic 
type things. And I even, oh, look, there's, oh, that can make my little happy dingle dangle. Oh, yes. Okay, that is going on my wish list. I'm going to move, move this tab from one that I've bought. Well done. Oh, no, see, these have got ticks on to say I have bought them. Oh, I'm going to have to add a new one. Oops, gone too far. Um, yes, I'm going to have to add a... I want that. <laughs> Why is it not possible to buy the art gallery stamps only? You can buy the art stamps gallery stamps only. you just got to put the stamp set in. It might be that they're out of stock at the moment, Martina. But um, you just put add the code. Yeah, I'll I'll double check the maybe so I'll do this at the end of the, this walkthrough and tell you what things are on back order and out of stock for now. They will be coming into stock. It's just that there are some things that they forecast are going to do well, and then sometimes they do really really well, and so the demonstrator base has kind of like wiped the warehouse clean. So. Circle Celebration, I do have this one and intending to play with it more. Great, just graphic kind of stamp set. Oh, you typed in the code and nothing came up. Ah, that's interesting. Okay, well, I'll have to double check that, Martina, for you. Simply Succulents. Uh, Esther's got this set and I love this die. It's just so intricate and pretty and you could do some lovely stenciling through this you know if you cut it with sort of a, a nice thick ish card you could use that as a stencil and look this is a card that they've made using it great one again for coloring in worth taking the time to do that and if you like succulents this will be you'll be happy with that then this is one that has really caught my eye i've not bought it yet uh, sand and sea incredibly textured the stamp set, the die, and the embossing folder all coordinate together. So you can use all three elements together to create very, very embossed and coloured in elements. So you can see here that this has been embossed and cut out and coloured in. So very, very detailed. And I, I just love that, that stamping up a thinking all that really even more joined up than usual. Lovely papers. I have got the pearlescent speciality paper, not used it yet. I'd like to see, you know, how it reacts to water. Uh, so yeah, that would be fun. And then the lovely little sort of opal rounds. It's basically a little bit of glitter inside the embellishments. Really pretty. Okay, I'll move on from that. Flamingo. There always seems to be a flamingo in the, in the catalogue somewhere. I think people just love them, don't they? So a bit more of a tropical theme floral going on, but some really nice little stamps, uh, sentiments. Great little happy birthday there. And again, it comes with dies. So, oh, look, you could create a little, oh, look, two little flamingos together. Very cute. Strawberries. This is already, I think, very popular. I've seen some beautiful creations with this set. I am tempted now. I've seen everyone else's <laughs> samples. Cute little flower. Cute little leaf and flower and strawberry. Sheila's got this one, haven't you, Sheila? Then this one in bloom. This is going to be on my list as well. It coordinates, I think, with some celebration papers as well. Again, a great one if you're starting out and you want to get into doing the whole sheet stamping, stamp one sheet wonder type thing. Uh, if you're really into your florals, this is a great one for that. Oh, you just ordered that one. What, the strawberry or the flower one, Liz? Then, oh my goodness, close your ears. If you if that shark song just sticks in your ears, then don't look at this page. Um, but I know some lots of little girls and boys who are going to love this set. And it is nice also to have another animal. You know, another, another yes, well... What's a whale? It's not an animal, it's a... Is it a mammal? No, it's not a mammal. What do you call a whale? Because it needs, it needs to breathe air, doesn't it? Someone will tell me. Go on, you clever lot, you tell me what a whale is. So then we have a, a crocodile. That's 
cool as well. Amphibian. Is that right? They're amphibians. Anyway, someone will tell me. Come on, people. It's been, a, it's been a while since I've done biology. And that doesn't have any dyes or anything with it. But it's advertising the paper snips because our paper snips are legendary. Just saying. A shark is a fish. Oh, yes, because it doesn't need to... It's Oh, this is a shark. It's not a whale. Sorry, I was looking at that going, it's a whale. But no, it's not. It's a shark. Whales are mammals. Sharks. Yeah, sharks are fish. Thank you. Helen's probably rolling her eyes at me right now. Uh, right, ice cream corner. Ice cream is a food. Is a food group. Okay, everybody? And, you know, if you can get... You know, avocado ice cream, seaweed ice cream. It's a vegetable food group, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, and it's got milk, which is good for you. It's, you know, it's a protein. So, you know, ice cream is highly recommended. <laughs> um, right, some lovely sentiments here. We've got a great happy birthday. And, right, I'm sorry, this is not anti-American, but sometimes we get scripty stamps and I can't understand the R because we don't write our R's the kind of American fancy dancy way. So it's actually quite refreshing to have an R that's just a, an R that we would recognise. Just saying. Apart from, oh look, they've gone and done it with the your, oh, they've let themselves down. Look, your, look, the fancy R there. Oh well, and the fancy the R there. Oh, they could have kept that R for there. Oh, that's me just being really super pedantic, but there we go. Anyway, look, they've got green ice cream. There we go. Seaweed or avocado. But it's probably more like mint chop chip. <laughs> oh, and then if you look really hard, that's an octopus. Cindy, where's Cindy? She loves an octopus. And that comes with a coordinating ice cream punch as well. Then we've got an, another Million Dollar Achiever Award. April has designed this one. This is very much a girlfriend's kind of stamp set. And I was just thinking, do we have one? Because I'd love to stamp that butterfly, that corner stamp from the celebration as a skirt for a girl. Look, see? If anyone's got these two stamp sets, I want to see what this would look like. There we go, ball gown, see? There we go, I think that skirt, and it covers her knees. Look, that's a bit too short, isn't it? Let's face it. So we could have ball gown with leaves and flowers. There we go. You heard it here first, everybody. Just make sure you, you know, you thank me later for that idea. <laughs> Oh, pistachio. Yes, pistachio. Love a bit of pistachio. Now, this stamp set caught my eye because I love all the detailing of it. Little cake, balloons and flowers, macarons. I mean, who doesn't like a macaron? Uh, again, some really lovely fonts there. It's not really a me set, but I do like it. And I am looking forward to seeing what people create with it. And it's got dyes and it's got this really lovely label dye there. Oh, sorry, Helen. It's a cursive, everybody. Yeah, but the Americans seem to do lots of cursive writing, don't they? That's where I seem to see it the most. Oh, and the French, I think. The French use that cursive R. Right, snail mail. I know loads of you have loved this stamp set. Great for house moving, hello, you know, happy mail, just to, you know, send someone a bit of happy mail. You know, it's a nice gender neutral set as well, because I think everyone kind of likes a cute snail, apart from when they eat our lettuce. And it's also got this lovely little envelope die, so if you like to create little mini envelopes, you can do that. Nice little set there. Cute mushrooms. So very on trend, this one. I was really pleased that they came out with this one. And there's some little heart sticker, sticky things and some lovely thread. I've got this one, that thread. So a friend of mine down the road has this, so I might borrow that one off her. <laughs> yeah, you like them with butter and garlic. Yes, indeed. Right, so this one is a great stamp set if you're making and selling cards. So if you make 
a card using Stampin' Up! product, there is an angel policy that requires you to stamp copyright Stampin' Up! on the back. And it was my complaint last year that only one stamp set in the annual catalogue contained the copyright Stampin' Up! catalogue. And it's like they heard me. So we've got copyright there and copyright there. So we've got two. And I like also that these little designs, I love this one. This is so cute. I have a mannequin uh, that I don't know whether to keep or not because I'm leaving house and running out of space. But we call her Shirley. I've got a mannequin called Shirley. So this is like a really pretty Shirley. Then we've got hashtag made it, hashtag handmade. Love all that. Great little set. Then this is lush. The, the, the artwork is just beautiful. Then we've got some of these lovely little doodaddy things. Little dots, little leaves. A lot of little doodad things there. Great fonts. Great mixture of fonts too. Love it. And then some stunning dies. So if you're into intricate card making, this is for you. Then this is a more of a kind of scene builder type one. Welcome, Mando. This is has got the sort of Mother's Day lit, kind of lilt to it. And um, hi, Christine. Nice to see you. So it's got a, a window. It's got a jug. It's got flowers. And then you can stamp the flowers inside there as well. And got dies to go with it. And I love these kind of shutter windows. These are gorgeous. And then it even has... Ah, now you see, I could have used that last night when I was stamping my Hobbit doors. Look, it's got hinges for the doors. Ah, oh, gorgeous. Oh, Kay has that set, brilliant. Okay, looking forward to seeing what you do with that one. Now, a few of you have already said how much you enjoy this one. Now this was, I got this free from Stampin' Up! Uh, for during on stage. And yeah, so I've had quite a bit of a play with it. And Still getting to know it, but really enjoy playing with it. And I know a few of you really like it, particularly again for the masculine type cards. So I won't dwell on that one too much. This one, what's this one? Wonderful as you. Got a few little icons, great sort of sentiments, and yeah, just cute. Then this one, floating and fluttering. You've seen me use it. I'm still itching to cut it up. I will do eventually. If you're a big butterfly fan, Janine, you will love this one. <laughs> no Janine's into her butterflies. Then we have flowering vine dies and a vine design stamp set. I do like this actually. Gorgeous intricate dies there. And again, lots of really lovely flowers. So if you if you do like your flowers, it's a good one. Then back to blooms. Uh, stamp set really good value for money because they're designed to stamp on both sides so you have kind of like the reversibles type thing um, oh it's actually called reversibles sorry I had that word in my head but yes it's called reversibles let me just shut my kids door the front room door I can hear sorry they've got the telly on and it's a bit loud yeah I've used this one already and yeah I'm really getting to know it and I really like it Got some lovely elements in there. Yeah, I get very te technical, my doodabs. Cute little kitty one. Esther's got this one. Very sweet. Great for kind of baby cards or children's cards. This one also great for baby and children's, but also sort of got that Easter kind of feel to it. And if you just buy the punch, I won't judge because an oval double punch. So that oval sits inside that scallop. Brilliant. Lovely. If if you like to sort of have your sentiments raised onto like an oval or a circle, then these types of punches are just invaluable, especially if you don't want to go down the route of buying a die cutting machine and all that kind of thing. Um, then the, the ovals are great. So Esther's got this one as well. Yeah, I've got this one. Then this is the masculine offering and I really like this. I think it's sometimes really cute to make sort of slightly different uh, shaped cards. So this set is designed with these dies and you can create suits basically. And obviously you can have ladies in suits as well. 
so you could do, you know, feminine suits and masculine suits. And I've seen some sort of tuxedo with bride cards. You know, your imagination can go wild with this one. Now, just to, just wanted to say something about the papers. Now, I bought the papers and what they have done is made sure that the designs on the papers are small because they are designed to use with say the tie and the bow tie and they were aware that if they did too big a design it's not going to look right so if you're a card maker and you sometimes struggle with the large designs on some of the designer series papers then you will love these ones because they are designed to be smaller now please don't dismiss it because it appears to be a masculine set there are florals in there um there's there's that one there um, but there's also other, there's a lovely paisley, but you can mix and match these with, say, florals. And I love mixing geometrics with florals. I think it, it just helps highlight, highlight those. So you've got it already, Audrey. OK, so this one's a great little one as well. And I have, I have, I have thoughts about this one. Got a horse, cows, little hay, hay bales. A, uh, what's the word I want? Horseshoe. It's got. Good luck. Don't take time for the simple things. Just really different sort of fonts and things. Could you be used for scene building? Um, I know some of you do love building, you know, scenery type cards. Got a lovely picket, no, not picket fence, sorry. Lovely sort of a farm fence there. And this big one is great for creating apertures. Just a different aperture rather than, a you know, your typical circle, square, oval type thing. But this sort of a door frame aperture. So really interesting and intricate and and i look for, again look forward to seeing what people create then we've got this one i think this is designed for the men yes it's got happy father's day to a wonderful man happy birthday thanks you're always there for me and it's more kind of coloring in graphics somebody mowing the lawn type thing then another nice masculine one we've got the aeroplane Balloon. I love that hot air balloon. So detailed and pretty. Really gorgeous. And of course, our blending brushes. At last, we have our own blending brushes. So if you've not tried them out before, um, they are gorgeous. Lovely, soft, soft brushes. Slightly easier to hold than a sponge, I would say. And you can easily wash them. So you get a pack of three to start off with. And then, you know, if you feel that you want to get a few more just to perhaps have your colour groupings and I would recommend you tie like a ribbon or something around the uh, the arm of it not the arm, what's that called? The handle just to denote the colour families you're using so maybe have one, you know, yellows, reds, greens, blues and so on um, yeah, actually order two packs while you're there <laughs> and then you'll have all your primary and your secondary colours covered okay, then we've got... Oh, this one is a lovely one. This was inspired by Gail Murray, another million dollar achiever. And this was one designed kind of with sort of grandparents in mind, but just has some lovely, lovely graphics. So this could be used for a new baby card. And that, I mean, I love you. That's gorgeous, isn't it? So just because it says grand, grand sort of children or whatever, don't don't just sort of dismiss it if you don't have grandchildren because I think the different elements of it is, is just so lovely. Great little card um, idea there as well. Then we've got Hot Dog. And I again, I love the graphics of this. I'm not super duper into sort of animal sets myself, but I really love the graphics of this. And look, there's little paw prints there. And we've got little bows that you can attach. and Oh, just very cute. Little little doggy bones there as well. Oh, a little hat. You can put a hat on him. Very cute. Then, you may be interested. If you're not interested in the dog's stamps, you may be interested in the dies. We have these that have got, like, a stitched effect going round the border. So here we've got one, two, three, four, five, six different dies and this lovely kind of stitchy type style to go around so yeah so don't don't ignore that page if you're just not into dogs 
Then this is some of the items that are carrying over from the autumn, the mini catalogue that's just gone. So there are things still available, available like the Love of Leaves stamp set, the Essential Tag Punch, the Evergreen Forest Embossing Folder, and also if you go to the website, there will be more listed that have carried over. Then, da da da, the mini embossing machine, yay! <laughs> so we've got the little mini one, I have shown it to you guys, it's so useful to have on your desk, and just to sort of cut those odd li little die cuts as you need them, really super useful. So the way to know whether or not it will fit, any die sets will fit through the mini, is you need to look for this icon here. Okay, this one here, and it says mini, and it has a picture of the machine. So if it has that, you know that every single one of those dies will pass through the mini. Now, obviously, we've got this one here. Now, most of these dies will pass through the mini, except probably the large one there. So it's up to you, if you just have the mini, to decide you know what die sets you want to get. But the Stampin' Up! do make it easy to help you under understand which ones that you can you can have. So they've listed the bundles really helpfully in the back of the catalogue so that you can see the stamp set and the uh, dies or punch that goes with it and so they are listed all across the back and helpfully some extra designs card designs to get your juices flowing and that's always useful to see because ultimately you guys just want to see ideas don't you of how to use all the products so that's on the last pages and then what we got here the punch bundles are on the back here and then the catalog at a glance da, 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 da. and then yeah list of the embellishments and this is the host set so if you place an order of um over 150 pounds uh, you can choose 10% stamping rewards so don't use my host code if you place an order of over £150 uh, because you can have 10% stamping rewards immediately so that's £15 of freebies and if you would like to add to your £50 of freebies the £12 stamp set here this is called Sweet Sampler and you get stamps that are kind of um, inspired by all the different sweets so obviously that one's Dandy Garden that one goes with the C one, that one's from the art gallery one. That's hydrangea, and I can't remember that one. But um, you've got sort of a bit of everything there, uh, which is just useful. And, and a second dragonfly. That's handy, isn't it? So just remember that. Um, also, if you place an order of over four hundred pounds, you also get to choose a half price item, and also you actually get fourteen percent stamping rewards. So, if you're the sort of person that likes to save up and spend all in one go, then there are benefits to doing that because you can you can choose freebies. Now, if you spend under one hundred and fifty pounds, please use my host code because I will actually send you a voucher for ten percent if you use the host code. Okay, you have the host code because otherwise I can't pass on those savings to you right moving on we've got celebration you like the presentation of the catalogue yes it is good yeah it's really helpful I do hope so too Janine I, I hope they bring the mini catalogue the mini cutter back right so celebration now please note January to February okay January to February not March just February so here we have some papers that you can earn for free when you spend £45 or uh, euros, that's €60. Euros. So free papers. Uh, stamp set. Again, that's just for the first tier. I call them tiers because I think that's maybe the easiest way to understand it. But So free with 45 spend. That one's free with 45 spend. You've seen me use that one. It's got various, what's the word I want? Sentiments. Happy birthday themed, but kind of fun. Really fun. Then the Ombre Designer Series paper. Really pretty. It's six by six inch. You get 48 sheets. Then Corner Bouquet, which you've just seen me pull out there again free with a £45 order and then Heal Your Heart which is a lovely sentiment set great for sen sen sympathy cards 
and I've already cut up wearing this together. <laughs> then we've got field flower and field designer series paper. So that again is free with a forty-five pound purchase. Now this is a double set. So when you spend ninety pounds, this is available. It's called a touch of ink, and. I showed this the other day. It's a double set. It literally is two layers of stamps. So that hence that's why that's the £90 spend one. So basically just look at the medallion and it will tell you how much you need to spend to get that one for free. Then we have Berry Blessings. Now this you have a stamp set, which I think is large already, but you also get some papers with it, which is the berry themed papers that then coordinates with that gorgeous strawberry stamp set and punch in the mini catalogue as well and then if you're to host a party and the spend goes over 275 pounds you also get this stamp set for free so again when i say party it, you know if, if it's you it can be your all your own order if you want it to be as well so if you want this stamp set you place an order for 275 pounds and you will get this one for free too okay and then if you think that you want to, if your your wish list is quite high, then you can actually join. And so for £99, you can choose £130 of products or it's €129 Euros and you choose €175 Euros worth of product. And you will also get all this stack of designer series paper so you get five different stacks and this is a bit of a sneak peek into some papers that are going to be available in the annual catalogue all right so they are basically going to be giving you the subtles brights regals and neutrals range in these papers and also the current in colors the 20 20 to 2022 20, colours. So that's the terracotta tile, uh, bumblebee, um, cinnamon cider, just jade, is that right? I can't remember all the colours at the moment, but those colours. Right, there we go. That's my catalogue walkthrough. Now, someone asked me a question that I haven't answered. I can't remember what it was now. Oh, I was going to check on the website. I know what, let me flip the camera around and then look at my phone. I was going to... Excuse the mess on my desk. Oh, messy desk. Um, I was going to check to see what um, is currently out of stock or what is sort of coming into stock because, as I said, the, the demonstrator base really... Um, placed quite a few orders recently so there are some things that we're waiting to come to be shipped over so let me just go to the Stampin' Up! Web website and, and have a look so if you've got any questions please post them now while I'm looking this up for you and I will let you know what is going on with supplies now obviously in the UK we're still a bit slow with shipping because we there were some issues with um, the channel tunnel then there's the whole big C issue and everything being kind of slow slow down right so ordering Oops, uh, inventory status report there we go that's what I want mm -mm 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 -mm. it's coming it's coming Okay, so back ordered are the German Ponsetta set, the Fine Art Floral. Oh, right, okay. So the Fine Art, the Gallery Bundle, and I guess that might be because the stamp set is out of, out of stocks. Where can I find the Gilding Flakes? They are on page. Da, 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 da. Bear with. Okay, let me just go through. Okay, so there's lots of reinkers back ordered, which we kind of knew about. Page 33 is the gilding flakes. I'm just going to go through the 
lots of ink stuff is back ordered. Uh, Rococo Rose cardstock is on its way. Okay, so Art Gallery Photopolymer Stamp uh, is on back order, but we've got some. We've got three hundred thirty-six coming into the warehouse. Circle Celebration, Kangaroo and Company, the German the Schneckenpost stamp set, the snail one, the German one is back ordered. Um, the there are some oh the heat tool, the European plug heat tool is on back order. And yep, that's it. There's other things that are low inventory, but they are mainly things for the annual catalogue. Okay. Right, there we go. So Martina, I think the reason you couldn't order what you wanted was because it was probably back ordered by that point. So anyway, we've got till June, hopefully, <laughs> if it's not out of stock. I always tend to say go May. So this catalogue is supposed to last for six months. Now, obviously, that is while stocks last, because if it gets to the point where, you know, we're, we're very close to June and, and stocks run out, Stampin' Up! are not going to start production runs for things because, you know, it's, it's unwise for a company to be holding stock of things that they're then not going to be able to sell. But obviously, if they're carrying over to the annual catalogue, then they will carry on being available. But um, so... You know, pace yourselves. You don't have to shop for this all at once. However, if you are placing a big order, remember that there are added benefits to placing a big order, and make sure you put the host code in if you're using if you're spending one hundred and less than one hundred and fifty pounds. All right. Okay. Any other questions? Hi, Anna. I just saw you pop on. Anna, if you didn't see last night's video, you will want to go and watch that one. It was very Hobbit inspired. Where's my cards? I'll show you a card I did last night. Da, da, da. Hobbit hole. Right, I'm off to have some lunch. Lovely to catch you guys, and I'll see you later for a bit of stamping. Okay, take care, everyone. Bye. Oh, have I got what, Esther? The Easter stamp set? No, I haven't. Okay, take care. Bye.